Guys, today I added Caleb Williams to the 2024 Chicago Bears. But here's the kicker. He's 10 and a half feet tall. So it's not just your normal Caleb Williams. It's your special edition Caleb Williams. And if there's any chance he can save the Chicago Bears, well, this would be the chance for him to do it. Standing at six, 10 foot 5, 227 pounds, Caleb freaking Williams. And also, I think I got the weight incorrectly, but you know what? It is what it is, boys. Khalil Herbert is the running back, but we also got DeAndre Swift. Um, we also got Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, um, Gerard Everett, Cole Kement, and so on and so on. So, I think Foreman's actually off the roster. I think I, I was supposed to cut him, but... Let's just see how this goes, cause I'm um, I'm feeling confident, feeling confident that Caleb's gonna be the guy to save the Chicago Bears and their franchise. Oh yeah, there we go. See that right there? I don't know why he has Justin Fields' number, but you know what? It is what it is. Play action pass. Let's look. Dotteroni boys, first pass. Caleb Williams, giving that Dottoroni action on there. <clears throat> All right, so this is weird because every player but Caleb Williams is like, not every player, actually. Most players are messed up, their jersey numbers. Is there like the glitch whenever you change rosters? It makes all the offense at one side 11 and the other side 22. So it is what it is, but <clears throat> let's just roll out to my right-hand side here. Come on. Let's see that USC action. Okay, maybe maybe not exactly what I expected there, but um, let's see what else we got here. All right, so we're going to hit Draw Everett here. Brand new tight end acquisition this offseason. Play action, pass it. Oh, yeah, that's um, not, even, not even close, bro. Okay, I also realize I have target passing on, and... Not going to lie to you, I don't usually use target passing that much. I know I probably should, but not my uh, cup of tea usually. But you know what? Whatever. We're still dotting up with it. All right. So wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if I do quarterback sneak from the one yard line? I have an idea here, okay? So we're going to call Caleb's number here. Um, oh, I forgot. The Bears actually have a lot of great plays. How is this going to work with quarterback sneak? I mean, okay. You know, out of all the options that could have happened here, I, I, I didn't think it was going to do that. I didn't think 22 here was just going to absolutely take me down. But here's the next problem, is that, like, even without even being touched, he's so tall, when he hits the ground, he automatically is sacked. So... I don't... How am I going to do this? Okay, that's how I can do it. So I hike the ball, and I spam X for him to dive. And that gives me a guaranteed touchdown. So, hike and spam. This is, um... that That's life right there, okay? That's how you get touchdowns in the NFL, boys. I mean, technically speaking, he broke the plane... What he br he broke the plane right here, like seconds after hiking that ball. It might might be the most OP quarterback sneak of all time right there. I right, um let's go with ooh. Now nah, I'm gonna go with a I guess it's a read option. Right, I'm gonna go read option here. We're gonna fake it to Swift, and we're gonna go with ourselves here. Oh our number. Okay, I couldn't hurdle, which is what I was trying to do there. And that did not work out as well as I would like it to. Alright, let's go back on offense. Come on, defense. Get a stop, defense. Okay. Alright, Bears. You're going to have a long season. But it's okay. You you can have a long season. Oh, this is going to not... This is not going to go well. So, a read... Uh, I mean, a quarterback option. Wait, hold up. Isn't, isn't there supposed to be an option to pitch this ball? Like, wait, you know, am I crazy, or is this not a quarterback option? Bears quarterback sweep. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be able to pitch the ball, right? 
I guess not. Okay. I don't know if it's because the fact that, like, is not registering his ability to pitch the ball because he's so tall or not. Because I'm, like, actually kind of confused about how this is working. Okay, hold up. Man's an absolute tank right there. So I think I'm supposed to be able to pitch the ball in that play. Because if I am correct, I might be incorrect. Tell me down below. Is that not a quarterback option from college? Quarterback option from college is you walk to the right-hand side like this, and then you can pitch it to, you know, your running back if you want to. That's like the go-to method there. I'm pretty sure that's the play call right there. But nonetheless, though, it's actually very effective, especially with him being so tall. It actually gives us, like, perfect blocking. Somewhat perfect blocking. All right, so I want to see something real fast. What happens if I high point a pass? Oh, wait, hold up. What was that? Okay, well, we dropped the ball, but I'm just, like, curious on what was that? I just, like, glitched halfway through the right-hand side. Um, okay. That's one way to do it. So I just, I, I hit right bumper, I think. And it made me go all the way to the right-hand side within seconds. Which got me out of the pocket and let me be able to throw the ball. <sighs> yeah. See, things, things happen good when you, um, break the game. When you break EA's game... It, um, apparently it just works out. Alright, that was, that was not a lob in any way possible. It definitely said throw a lob there, and I was like, oh, bullet pass you mean? Let's do a bullet pass. I have never seen this play before. Post corner up. That's a lot of routes just, like, running into each other. Alright, hold up. Um, okay. And I'm trying to get confused here, so hold up. Also, why do I even have... No, I think I caught a timeout earlier. I'm pretty sure I caught a timeout earlier. Alright, so let me see this real fast. So, I threw that ball, right? He had to go up there and get that. Keenan Allen had to go up there and get that right there. So, if I throw a pass here... Because I'm, I'm actually trying to figure this out now. If I throw with LB... That's a low pass, right? Well, no, that's a high pass. That's a high pass, guys. Okay, so, so this is why I'm confused. Because that one pass I threw that was deep to Keenan Allen that he had to go up and get, that was I was throwing that as a low pass. So that's what I'm actually kind of confused about now. Because if I throw a low pass, it's a normal pass. Because he's like 10 and a half feet tall. <laughs> because he's so tall, a, um, a normal pass, I mean a, a low pass is a normal pass. And that's going to be, okay, hold up. Why did he drop it, first off? Give me pass interference, which I don't know if this is actually pass interference, bro. I, I think that might be a little bit of nonsense. So, he ran in, my guy ran into the defender. And then, after he caught it for a touchdown, it bounced off the guy's back. And he acted like he did nothing wrong, the wide receiver. Yeah. <clears throat> that's, um, that's about right, bro. That's about right. That's about football right there. Okay. Let's go. First and goal, baby. First and goal. Come on. Okay. Second and goal. First and goal didn't work. <laughs> oh, my lordy, bro. I, I always think I'm going to be able to out, like, just out must. I mean, just fall forward for a touchdown. But for some reason, the angles is so weird in Madden when your guy's, like, ten and a half feet tall. Like, they did not get the whole angle down in Madden when it comes to the height. Heights is so weird in freaking Madden. Alright, so I'm going to sit the rest of this game, guys. I want to see how this goes. Alright. Did we get a safety? 15 points? No, no, no. We just got one. Never mind. Alright. 29, 10. 39, 10. 10 and a half feet tall Kayla Williams is the move. Two touchdowns, 142 yards. 84 on the ground and two touchdowns on the ground. Damn. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.